the Nikabi Diary Season 1 Illustrated Book is now available in paperback. Own your copy now by clicking the link in the description box. Assalamu alaikum. You're listening to the Nakabi Diary series by The Pen, the sound of sisters raising their voices with the written word. I'm your host Samar and thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh sister. How are you? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, I'm great. And you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Very good. Jazakallah khair for joining us today for by the pen, the sound of sisters raising their voices with the written word. Alhamdulillah. So sister, could you introduce yourself for us and um, talk about your new book a bit as well? Okay, my name is Rohima Odushite. I'm a Nigerian, I'm from the Ogun State and I'm Yoruba ethnic group. So I'm married with four kids. So I live in the capital city of Nigeria, which is Abuja. So I'm a book coach. So what do I do as a book coach? I take my clients, Muslim coaches, through a proven path where they write their book, their life authoring book, so that they can be an authority in their niche. So that's what I do basically. And my book, Taken for Granted, I started on it in 2016. I know it's like <laughs> over four years. However, along the way, as Allah will have it, I had to drop a whole manuscript that I thought oh. will be the novel. And I had to start all over again, 2019, January. So that was how taking for granted, the one I published and it came about. So it was just a journey. And alhamdulillah, that I, had, I took the advice because it was much better than the one I wrote. So, and um, taking for granted is uh, truly like a redemption kind of story. So the protagonist, Amina Adegoke, is um, someone that came from the humble background. However, she's been dreaming of being a rich person, like marrying a wealthy husband, and that was what she got. So eventually, her uh, relationship with the Lord is not that strong. She, it even got to an extent that she really, I think she didn't believe like in Allah. So something happened, a traumatic experience happened that, had, that made it to like, okay, come back and um, re-examine our, our life. So it's the journey she took for that instance to the hand to discover herself and a relationship with her family and mother, especially. And um, along the way, friendship, betrayals. So the whole story, is that, so the journey of her life, what she, how she took it. That's what's taken for granted, talking about. So it's, it's around friendship, um, the importance of mother, betrayer, sibling um, relationships. So it all encompasses that. Allahu Mubarak, mashallah, it sounds amazing. It really sounds amazing. Very interesting storyline there. And it looks like it covers quite a lot of themes as well. So what would you say was the inspiration um, behind this book? Okay, the inspiration, you know, as Muslim women, we beat ourselves so much. We beat ourselves up so much that um, we don't do much, uh, that um, when we make mistakes, we feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't forgive ourselves, firstly, for instance, and like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we might not forgive us. You know, when you have done something so to you that is so near or so enormous and that you just believe that you cannot be forgiven and you carry that body for long. So that's um, what's inspired me to write that. Because as a coach, I've heard, um, I've come across prospects and clients that speak towards those things. And uh, they keep like, not forgiving themselves because of the past mistakes they've done. So that's part of what inspired me. Then there was a part of the story too that, is, that really happened to someone I know. Mm. So I just took part of it to be part of the story. So and as, um, as a person, I love um, women empowerment. And so that to roll into it um, gave me that inspiration to write the book so that women that are in that position can really find themselves in it and know that 
there's nothing big um, that Allah cannot forgive. There's nothing enormous that Allah cannot forgive. So we just need to like come close to him. Yes. So that's our my inspiration. That's where it came from. Mashallah, alhamdulillah. So who would you say the book is aimed towards? Which age group and okay, it's aimed um at married women. Okay. So married women generally, yes. And I look at the range of 35 years because mm -hmm. the protagonist is that around that age group. So it's adults, married women. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So you mentioned that um, you had started writing the book in 2016, but then you had to kind of um, drop that first draft or whatever, and you, you kind of had to redo the whole thing, you said. So would you, what, would you, what would you say was your biggest challenge? Would that be your biggest challenge? Or were there other challenges that, you know, was even more than that? I think that was the, the most challenging thing, mm. to drop that 50,000 plus words. Oh my mm. God. Like um, I was writing it. So this was what happened. The story was supposed to be about two couple, not okay. one couple. So one was living another life. The other one was near another. They were like coming together. They would meet at um, a certain point. However, when I finished writing the manuscript, there was this nickling feeling that I had. You know, when you have that feeling, but you cannot play your, place your hand on that. There's something yeah. missing somewhere in this manuscript. So what happened was, um, when I discussed it with my coach, so she told me, I asked her, should I send you the manuscript? She said, no, 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 no. She told me, okay, tell me what your story is about. So, okay, I was like, ah, uh? okay. So I was struggling to tell her. So eventually, when I told her, she said, okay, who is supposed to be transforming in this, in this story line? I said, the woman, of course. She said, oh, but you are, you are writing in such a way that is the man that is transforming. I'm like, oh, ah, mm. that's the thing. So I was like, so she asked, okay, do I want to um, take the point of view of the man to write? She said, no, I want the woman. So we talked more about it. So I decided, to, okay, I'm going to just do it again. So I was having a hope that I might pick up, lift some things from the draft, the one I've done before, mm -hmm. to create the new one. However, when I started, ah, I was like, uh -uh, I can't grow through because it take time to read through and everything. So I now, I was so kind of down. So I now spoke with my editor and I told her, can I start this from the beginning? It's so daunting. <laughs> like, oh, no, no. oh, she said, okay. She asked me a question. She said, do you want to put out your breast to work out there? I said, yes, so of course. I said, then what do you choose? And then, okay. <laughs> I just decided to go, okay, start over again. So that was when I started it again. And I think that is one of the, yes, obstacle. The Mashallah. Most. Mashallah. So you, you, re you rewrote the book in 2019. Yes, it's like January and I concluded in June 2019. Yes. Really? So just a few months? Exactly, yes. Wow. <laughs> so That's it's funny. like, you know, those, so it shows that those years was not wasted. They were, they were not wasted. Yeah, I'm So it's that. kind of faster. Yes, because I knew what I wanted to write and I already had it as an outline. Yeah. That was just okay, going for it and like add a deadline and just turn it out. So would you would you say then that because like it sounds like almost like maybe you had um two books in one like that you wrote originally so would you say that you still have another book inside you that could be kind of taken from that first book that you can write another story again Yes but that one I'm not looking at that now okay. because there's another manuscript that mm -hmm. I wrote <laughs> between that period on, in 2017 that I'm looking at bringing out after this one okay. yes i wrote it oh. during the um remo that's writing month november you know, they usually do this writing month novel writing month every november so i wrote that during that time so that's the one i'm looking at looking at that one yes is in, is is there so i can always go back and see if i can bring out something out of it but for now yeah it's there it's breathing <laughs> Mashallah, tabarakallah. Amazing. Wow. Okay. Um, subhanAllah. So with, with all these books that you've been writing, 
and mashallah and you're also um, helping other people you're you're um, a book coach as well so you must be very busy and subarakallah you have four children alhamdulillah and wife as well so who would you say your um greatest supporter has been like during this process of you writing your book okay my supporter my husband mm -hmm. <laughs> like um he's always there like if i need a space he helps me to keep the kids away and um he's just like it helps Although he's not a reader, although sometimes I force him to read my, my writing. <laughs> but he's there to like sounding board with. And so he's, yeah, he's my, uh, then a community, I have a community of writers to have uh, uh, someone through that I share my um, thoughts with, my mm -hmm. writer friend, also. Then my editor, Ind Egazi, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know her. Yes, yes. Yes, Ind is another, yes, Ind is another, a support, yes, that I have on my then um mine might be Roberts too. Yeah, mashallah. Yes, she's part it. of it, yeah, mashallah. So those are yes, the people that help me with support. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. So um is writing something that you have aspired to be since you was a child? Is that what you always wanted to be? Um uh, maybe I'll say yes or no. <laughs> But at the time, I didn't know that I was, I could be a writer, right? Mm -hmm. Because then it was like, okay, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be in the future? I want to be a doctor. I want to be an engineer. You know, that kind of So I won't say um, I've thought of it being a writer ever since. However, I've started reading at the age of five or six. Mm -hmm. So I said so early. So because I took in a lot of books, adventure books, the famous five, the Addy boys, you know, all those things during my high school. Yeah. So I found out that I was able in JSS, that was junior secondary school, that's what we call it here, to a friend and I, we attempted to write in a book, an adventure book. So that was the first time that I tried my art at writing. Actually, we wrote it together and we finished it. However, we didn't publish it. You know, we're just kind of and when you read a lot, this idea will be in your head. So we kind of like keep writing it out and everything. So I think that step should have <laughs> intend me that, okay, maybe in the future, I'm kind of going to be a writer, but um, I didn't like take it as something I want to be. Actually, it was years down the line. Yeah, that I know, okay, this gift that I'm giving, I need to use it. So that's when I started in 2016 to start to write. So what would you, what what would you say happened at that point in your life that you decided yeah I'm gonna write this book? Okay, what happened? I was working um, at a nine to five job. Mm -hmm. I okay, I went to university. I came out as a civil engineer. I had an uh, engineering degree. However, when I came out, you know this the you know um, engineering is like the man's world. However, I had it in mind to, to just go for the management consultancy part. Yeah. Okay, design and just go to site just once. If that's any issue, that's when I go. I, I don't have to be a super mystery engineer on site. So that's what my mind was on. And I really tried to get somewhere to do that, but I wasn't able to get. So I entered, I started working as a computer operator for a, an accounting firm, a chartered mm -hmm. accounting firm. So from there, I, I wrote the um, professional accounts, accounting is called um, um, the Institute of Chartered Accountant in Nigeria. It's similar to ACCA in mm -hmm. Euro. So I took that, like I, was, I wasn't getting this thing I wanted. So I was wasting time, I was going. So I just had to decide. So it was kind of a flip, change of career, like from the sciences to the... <laughs> to the social sciences yeah so it was kind of difficult to like make so when i use the i use the um qualification the channel account to start working and i worked for many years i said 12 plus years and i got dissatisfied you know that kind of thing i'll be niggling you all this while i still write articles i read i write so when I got to that point, you know, in your life, when you get to a point like, oh, this is not what I'm, I'm supposed to be doing, even when you've used so many years. So it just occurred to me, 
and it was doing um, a, an annual P program training I attended, I attended in 2017, in April, okay. that really opened up my mind. So that was what really told me, oh, this is, you're good at this, just pursue it. Mm -hmm. Pursue it fully. So, and that was where I started the plan to leave my paid job and eventually I left it in 2019 and to fully like face the writing and um, coaching part. Mashallah, so what kind of advice would you um, give to other sisters who were considering writing a book? Okay, those that want to write a book, right? I'll just say start. Mashallah. Yeah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. of you. Yeah, just start. <laughs> I know there's those fears there of um, fear of judgment, fear of failure. They are all going to crowd your head, but mm. just start. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Mashallah. So that's the message, sisters. If you've got a book to write, just start. Alhamdulillah. Allah Mubarak, sister. Jazakallah khair for joining us today and, and talking about your new book with us. And it's available across um, quite a few places, right? So let us know where we it's on Amazon, yeah? Okay. Yes. You can get it from my bio, my um, Instagram bio, at Odushote Rahima. Then on the internet, you can get it on Amazon as a book, Kindle or paperback. Okay, so I'm okay. looking on putting on my website to put yeah. it there too. So in some time, it should be up in my website. So those are the places you can get it for now. Alhamdulillah. So inshallah, we'll put all the links to um to the to get the book in the description, inshallah, so that people can easily access it. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, Jazakallah khair, sister. You take care. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much for having me. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.